This legislation was enacted on the basic principle that all people in this country have the right to full participation in their communities. The ADA broke barriers to accessing public spaces, established basic civil rights protections, and opened equal employment and educational opportunities for people with disabilities. Yet 30 years after this historic achievement, we still have not fulfilled the full promise of equality for people with disabilities. For example, workers with disabilities can still be paid subminimum wages based on nothing but their disability. That's why last year the House passed the Raise the Wage Act, which phases out the subminimum wage for workers with disabilities. I've also proposed bipartisan legislation, the Transformation to Competitive Employment Act, that incentivizes states and employers to provide disabled workers with the support they need to transition to fully integrated and competitive jobs. Clearly, there is still work left to do. So now we must come together, just as we did 30 years ago to pass the Americans with Disabilities Act, to pass the Raise the Wage Act and the Transformation to Competitive Employment Act. By passing these bills, we can take critical steps towards equality for people with disabilities.